Hi guys and welcome to Gary Reviews and to my spoiler review of Interstellar. So I really wanted to do this review, a spoiler review, because I can talk freely about the things that, uh, that were interesting in Interstellar and the things that they just uh, crashed the whole thing down. At least that's how I see it. So first of all, what is my point of view? I read a lot of books in my uh, life till now. Uh, and not only books, uh, I've researched a lot of um, a lot of a lot of topics about existence, space, and I did that even before I went to school. So I was very very little kid, uh, kind of like five or six years old when I began uh, to build interest uh, for all the topics and all the things that. Um, uh, normal people just don't talk about, they don't care. And so I built a very large amount of information uh, and I learned and studied a lot, a lot of things. Uh, and I also watched uh, about the science behind the movie and even the science behind the movie says that this movie is more silly than real and some of the things like uh, the wormhole, even if uh, such thing exists, it will crash from the inside and sometimes uh, if different uh, gravity uh, from the other side is present, uh, this hole maybe will sustain itself but you you still c could die if you pass through it and other things like this. Uh, and of course a movie doesn't have to be a scientific fact, uh, it doesn't have to be accurate or anything like this, but the problems with Interstellar are different. So first of all, they try to emotionally invest you in the relationship between uh, Matthew McConaughey's character and his daughter, Merv, to try to show this love between them, but in the same time he decided to leave his daughter. Then these other ideas of love and how love transcends time and space and Anne Hathaway's character was a scientist that just wanted to go uh, on the second planet that was available to go to because her boyfriend was there and also because um, as a scientist she thought that this planet is the most suitable one and the planet turns out to be suitable which basically maybe means that love is always the answer in a way uh, but in the same time the movie uh, shows how uh, Matthew McConaughey's character goes into this black hole. As we know, it's impossible to go into a black hole and live. The science is always on theory, so uh, that doesn't matter really. Uh, what matters is what the message was when he was inside the black hole. And throughout the movie, uh, everyone thought that there are um, some fifth dimensional beings that helped them. And in the end, Matthew McConaughey's character discovered uh, or just he thought that those uh, fifth dimensional beings are actually us in the future because we evolve uh, to live in an, in a fifth dimension and we show those things to him so uh, this uh, turn of events could happen and the human race could be saved but all of that when you think about it doesn't really make so much sense because it doesn't explain a lot of things first of all how could the idea of love be so elevated in a way in this movie and at the same time to say that that everything came from people uh, maybe the uh, the universe exploded uh, and humans were created uh, we became a fifth dimensional and we decided to ensure that that moment in history in which we are supposed to be either destroyed or saved they decided to just go into the past and ensure that, that this moment will happen as it should be and that we're, we're going to be saved and that's very confusing because they already went uh, through this evolution and became fifth dimensional and that also means that the future past and now uh, exist at the same time and at the same time if love is the driven force and the in the best force in the universe that means that there is a lot more to physical existence uh, and that human beings cannot be the first thing and that the human beings cannot be uh, these other beings that help us in the future uh, Christopher Nolan tries to explain all the phenomena like ghosts in the world so when there's ghost and, uh, and something falls on the floor and the ghost just uh, push it over and that uh, means that there's somebody in the fifth dimension and, and they do this to the past 
So there's no real ghost and what happens then to the humans when they die. So this movie is so not connected well and so messed up that I can't even tell you. I mean, there are a lot of more things that I could talk about about this movie and we can just uh, take it apart. Um, but it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that everything uh, came from us. And we came from ourselves. And we are evolved in the fifth dimension. Uh, how the hell we can evolve in another dimension if this other dimension wasn't already there? And if it's there, that means that somebody put it there. It has to be a higher, higher mind that could see things from a lot bigger distance than we can because in our lives we live, breathe and believe only the things that we can see. We are like, we are like living in a little box. But whoever created this intelligent structure of life and everything so perfectly uh, created that it could, it could exist and develop. Uh, it has to be an intelligent being that could perceive and see and think a lot further than we can even, ever imagine. So it's absolutely illogical that something could exist by itself. Love just exists. So if Christopher Nolan wanted to do something more meaningful, he would really had to dig deeper than just the surface of the science world and then try to bring love into the mix uh, without thinking about the spiritual, about God, about, about the fact that nothing can exist by itself. Gravity is put there to uh, hold everything together and that is done with a purpose so it could hold everything together uh, so the other systems could exist uh, spin like they should and uh, recently a Russian, a Russian scientist uh, discovered that actually planets are spinning uh, in a spiral motion and not like uh, and not like this as a horizontal spinning in the same way uh, our DNA uh, is a spiral the Milky Way, uh, the galaxies are spiral. And Christopher Nolan could have just bring more new information, uh, could bring more uh, deeper ideas. Think about this. If I as a person want to create something, like a painting for instance, I have to have the idea for this, have to have the emotion for this. They are not physical. They are expression of something that is not physical. And then with physical means, I make it... Uh, physical and created from inside myself so in the same way if you have to create something first it has to be a spiritual expression of this and then be created as something that we could perceive as a matter this is the most obvious thing that everyone has to think about first uh, how things could be created and before something is very uh, thick uh, like matter before this could happen, it just had to have a previous state, which uh, it wasn't that thick. It was even less thicker. And then another state, less, 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 till we can see that uh, the first state was the idea, the non-physical matter, and then uh, it became thick and it became matter. So those concepts are based on years of years of years of studying all that it could be studied basically but, uh, and I just think that if you're a creative director you just have to think bigger even bigger even bigger because those things in the movie don't make sense and many scientists do the same mistake they are not thinking outside the box their equations don't come out and don't and can be solved because they always think only on the pure material side of things. So guys, I don't know if you understand anything that I said. I just uh, wanted to explain where I'm coming from. I'm not going to go much about Matt Damon's character uh, and the other characters because they're really not so important. The important is the overall message of the movie ideas that were thrown and everything was kind of like a huge manipulation just to get you into the movie. I was just taken out of the movie. It's a half-assed job, if you ask me. 
uh, because uh, we are much more intelligent now to understand that uh, that these ideas are just not relevant anymore and there are a lot more uh, to be explored in movies so guys that are my thoughts on interstellar there's no use to go on and on about this movie anymore you got the idea i think just let me know what you think in the comments if you understood the movie somehow if you uh, thought that something was missing um, a lot of things missing let's say and just let me know what you think in the comments guys if you want to help me you can share rate comment and subscribe until next time with kdg reviews best games for the best prizes only on g2a.com if you like to subscribe you can click the button to the right and you can also check out my gaming channel kdg gaming